Doctor, welcome to the show. It's great to see you. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. This is such an interesting conversation to have. And, and to begin with, this surgical treatment is an option for patients who are suffering from Parkinson's disease or even external, uh, as, as, as those tremors. What is this deep brain stimulation? Can you break it down for us? It's an implant that we place in a very specific part of the brain. And uh, we use a very thin implant, the less than the thickness of a pencil lead. I don't know if you can see this, but mm -hmm. this is implanted into a very specific portion of the brain. And it delivers a low voltage electrical current. And that can suppress tremors and other motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. And uh, it's been FDA approved for over 15 years, but it's become very refined and in many ways very simplified and uh, we now have it in community hospital settings such as out here in the woodlands in ways that are patient friendly and community service oriented so that there's less of a need to be in a uh, research facility and uh, there's there's a lot more simplicity involved with the procedure now and dr javadan so this is not just for for parkinson's disease this could treat any number of neurological disorders there's actually a much more common disorder that we use it on called essential tremor, which tends to run in families. And that's a disorder where people have tremors or shaking movements when they're attempting to do things with their hands that go away at rest, which is the opposite of the tremor that you see in Parkinson's disease. So that disease, essential tremor, is very, very uh, much helped by this procedure and is becoming in many communities a more common indication for the procedure even than the uh, Parkinson's disease, which was the original reason it was developed. This is so fascinating, and I know, doctor, we have some video that we're going to play here. You did not operate on this particular patient, but this is video of a deep brain stimulation surgery, and the patient is continuing to play the flute. Yeah, one of the unique and interesting things about this surgery is that for many of these surgeries, we keep the patients awake for about 30 to 40 minutes so that they can perform certain tasks. In this video, it's a musician playing their instrument. I've had patients who've done writing or drawing and uh, all sorts of functional tasks while we're implanting in the brain so that we can have a good marker for when we're in the right location and when we've reached the right frequency and so on to suppress the tremor and the, th and the other symptoms that are limiting their function. That is absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible. So while this patient then was playing the flute, essentially this helps ensure that the treatment that you guys have like hit the right spot, is that correct? That's exactly it. It's all about hitting the right spot, exactly right. Now, I also think it's important though, doctor, to underscore this this procedure, it's, it's not like it slows the progression of Parkinson's, it's not a cure for the disease. The whole idea here is that we are lessening the severity of the symptoms, right? That's exactly right. And uh, we used to think that it was not, had, didn't have any effect on slowing the progression until just recently. There were a couple studies, uh, one out of uh, Vanderbilt University, that suggests that it does have a lasting effect on the progression of the tremor symptoms. Although it is not a cure, the cure for the disease would involve basic uh, biological factors, and it's probably going to involve some combination of pharmaceuticals or stem cells in the future mm -hmm. to actually cure this disease. But it's an excellent procedure for suppressing some of the most bothersome symptoms of the disease. And, and those are those tremors where people maybe can't walk and move around like they would as the disease progresses. And I know that you showed sort of the, the wire looking mechanism, but this is basically sort of like a pacemaker, but for the brain. It's basically giving those signals at that time. That's exactly right. And so the, the wire has to be connected through a pathway that's hidden under the skin to a device. Very, they've made these very thin and very patient friendly now that, that uh, are hidden under the skin, usually under the collarbone. And that delivers that low current electrical stimulation to uh, suppress the, the symptoms that we've been talking about, such as tremor or stiffness or slowness of movement. And how long does this treatment last? I mean, is this something that has to be redone, doctor, from, from time to time or recharged? We now have patients who had these implanted 20 to 30 years ago as part of the original FDA trial. We know that it continues to work and continues to offer benefit to those patients even 20 and 30 years later.
It's really incredible. Wow. And I know we saw the video of the patient playing the flute during surgery. You had mentioned, Doctor, um, simple tasks, just even handwriting. Um, and you've seen, patients have seen dramatic differences there. Yeah, it's terrific. We get uh, Christmas cards from our patients, and we have a few that are hobbyists and doing fine art. And so they'll send us things like this. They'll send us their drawings after the tremor goes away just to show us things that they can do now that they weren't able to do before the surgery. Um, so it, it can make a big difference with fine motor tasks like that. And really quality of life for these people that have to live with us for the rest of their lives. Yeah, it, it really is. It seems like a game changer, doctor, to be able to help these people who couldn't do simple tasks before. That's got to be really satisfying knowing that you guys have access to tools that really can change people's lives. Yeah, it's fascinating. It's, it's, uh, for, for us as surgeons, it's one of the most rewarding things we do because we get to see the before and the after and we, uh, we, we get to see the uh, dramatic difference that it can make. It's really I think incredible. you're showing here a yeah. handwriting sample before and after. You can see the, the changes in the clarity. It's unbelievable. And I know, doctor, if someone's listening or they have a loved one or know someone with Parkinson's and they're interested or has any of these tremors uh, that we were talking about, they just need to simply make an appointment? Yeah, they should contact Memorial Hermann Neurology or Neurosurgery. We have the Memorial Hermann website with the backslash uh, neuro. And then uh, the number for our office here is 713-897-5900. Well, very nice, Dr. Sam Javadan. It, it is so fascinating. I was sharing with you during commercial break, I had a couple grandparents who both had Parkinson's disease. They both passed in the 80s. And for them, I mean, this would have been a game changer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's been a, a tremendous advance since the 80s and the, the, the pace of research is just accelerating. So it might be there, a cure might just be around the corner. We're really hopeful. Okay, fingers crossed, Dr. Sham Javadan. Thank you so much uh, for your help today and for a uh, very interesting conversation. Thanks for having me. And if you would like more information about deep brain stimulation surgery, you can call Memorial Hermann, the Woodlands Medical Center at 713-897-5900, or you can visit their website, neuro.memorialherman.org. Houstonian Debbie Allen is 